Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So coming back to the topic that is operating system page replacement algorithm. So students in this video we will be discussing one most important algorithm that is last in first out. So we'll start with introduction and then we will discuss most important examples. So what is the meaning of LIFO? LIFO means last in first out. So this page replacement algorithm is very much similar to FIFO algorithm with the difference being that it replaces the page that was brought into memory most recently. Most recent element or most recent page will be replaced in case of LIFO page replacement algorithm. Okay, in case of FIFO, we always replace the oldest page that has entered the memory first and uh, here we will uh, we will replace the most recent element, right? So in such type of questions, what we have to do? First, you have to write the given sequence. Okay, they had given the virtual page reference string. So you have to write it like this. And after that, check the number of page frames given. So they had given three page frames here. So uh, according to this, you have to create three rows over here. Now, the number of page faults, as always, we have to find the number of page faults based on LIFO page replacement algorithm, right? So, this is the basic criteria and you have to follow that very carefully. And uh, as we have discussed so many times, the first value you have, our system will find out the value 7 in the memory. But as you can see here, the table, the memory table is empty right now. So, we can write 7 like this and this is one page fault. I am making one, sorry, I am making one star here, okay? So, this is 7 and one page fault is there. Now, 7 is already there. Next number is 0. If our system is looking for 0 in the memory, it will not get anything because the memory is empty now. So, it will write 0 over here. This is one more page fault. 7 and 0 are already there. Third value is 1. That is not available. So, we will write 1 as it is. And this is one more page fault here. Now, the main concept starts from this point. Next value we have is 2. Okay. All these three frames are, are already occupied by 7, 0 and 1. And now, we have to add value 2. And if you want to add value 2, you have to replace any of the given value here. So, as we are using LIFO, last in, first out. So, out of these three values, the last value that we have entered is 1. Okay. So, in such type of uh, questions, you need to replace 1 with 2. So, this is one more page fault because 2 is not already available in the frame. We have to replace that value. We have to replace any value to add the new number. So, this is one more page fault. Okay. Next, we have is value 0. As you can see here, value 0 is already available. So, there is no need to replace anything. So, you can write this as it is. So, there will be no page fault in this case. Next is 3. So, 3 is not available any, anywhere. Okay, 3 is not available anywhere. So, you need to replace any one value. So, last value. Remember, last in, first out. So, last value is, you can see, we have 7 is entered. Is time pe. Okay, uske baad 0 enter hua tha. Uske baad 2 enter hua tha. So, last mein kaun si value enter hui hai? 2. So, you can easily replace 2 with 3. So, 3, 0, 7. As we all know, 3 is not available already. So, there is one page fault. Next value is 0. So, 0 is already available. There, there is no need to replace anything and there will be no page fault here. Next value is 4. And if you want to add value 4, you need to replace any value, any of the value from 7, 0 and 3. So, recent value is 3 here. Recent value is 3 here. So, you can write 
7, 0 and replace 4 with 3. So this is one more page fault. Next value is 2. 7 is already there. 0 you can easily write. Last value that we have entered is 4. So you can easily replace like this. So this is one more page fault. Next value is 3. 3 is not available. Last value that has entered the memory is 2. So you can replace it like this. So this there is one more page fault. Next value is 0. There is no need to write anything. This will be 0, 7, 0 and 3. Next value you can see here 3. 3 is already there in the memory. So write this as it is. There is no need to replace any value. Next number we got is 2. Next number we got is 2 and if you want to replace the recent value is 3. Minimum number of times a value you can see in the table can be easily replaced in case of LIFO. As you can see 3 is there only 3 times. 0 hum continue kar rahe hai and 7 b hum continue kar rahe hai. So that means we can easily replace the last value, the recent value that is 2. So this will be 2, 0 and 7. This will be 2, 0 and 7 and this is one more page fault. Next value is 1. Okay, so when you want to replace 1, this will be 7, 0 and 1. 7, 0 and 1. So this is one more page fault. 2, again 7. 0, 2. This is one more page for 7, 0, 2. Next value is 0. There is no need to do anything. Write this as it is. Next value is 1. Okay, next value is 1. So, if you want to replace 1, write it uh, like this. 1, 0 and 7. So, this is one more page fault. 7 will be as it is. No page fault is there. Then we have 0. So, 7, 0 is already there. So, you don't need to replace any value. 1 is already there available. So, 7, 0, 1. So, this is how LIFO page replacement algorithm works. Now, in this question, they asked about the number of page faults. So, total number of page faults are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11 and 12. So total page faults we have in this question are 12. So not 11, this will be 12. So this is very, very important topic and very, very important question. I have taken this question from a gate examination gate previous year question and net previous year questions if you all are preparing for uh, such type of competitive examination you can definitely follow my series and students if you all are preparing for your college level examination then this video and all these steps are just for you so i hope everything is clear till now if you have any doubt you can comment below okay if you all have any doubt, you can comment below. And one more thing I would like to share with you is that in this computer science lecture series, we are covering operating system. We have already done 40 lectures. And if we talk about page replacement algorithm, we have discussed everything in detail so many times. Page replacement algorithms, different uh, types we have already discussed theoretically as well as in numerical questions. So, we have uh, done first in, first out algorithm. This lecture, in this lecture, we have covered LIFO. Next, we have covered least recently used. That is one of the most, most, most important topic. And one more point uh, is pending now. That is optimal page replacement algorithm. Okay, very, very important topic. Very, very important algorithm for your examination. So, if you if you want some more lectures or some more previous year questions based on LIFO and FIFO, you can comment below. And students, one more thing. Optimal page replacement algorithm ka detailed video and koi aapke request pe separate video agar aap chaate ho, to definitely you can share your views, you can share your interest. I will surely help you all. Okay? So this is all about 
today's lecture if you have any doubt you can comment below i will surely help you all thank you so much everyone